Good afternoon. How should I pronounce your first name? Moaz? Yes, Damasin sent the greeting from here from Riyadh. Yes, Moaz. So thank you for taking the time to meet with me. You're one of the Dev Library contributors. You've submitted content that got selected. But before we talk about technology and your submissions, would you mind sharing with me a little bit about yourself? Maybe three words or three numbers or anything you'd like to share to tell us a little bit about who Moaz is. Yes, thank you for the question. Moaz al Shahma, software engineer and the Google Dev Library contributor and author in the Flutter and Dart technology. With technology, maybe from 12 years in general, and Flutter from first edition. Yes. Maybe Very more than uh, three words. But <laughs> that, that's totally fine. Uh, what got you started into these various areas, Flutter and Dart? What, what, what prompted you? What got you interested in the first place? Yes, that's a good question. Maybe Flutter as a cross-platform, you deal with the one code base with the Flutter technology, rather than you deal with the specific platform. For example, you deal with the Android you deal with the programming language as Java or Kotlin, or you deal with iOS, iPhone apps, you deal with iOS uh, Swift or Objective-C if you old. The same for Windows, C Sharp or uh, Visual Basic. The same for Web, you deal with uh, many, many programming languages, such as PHP, C Sharp, .NET, uh, whatever. The idea here is you, you deal with one programming language, is Dart, Dart programming language. Maybe the concepts of programming is one, but here the idea, you, deal, you code one, you code once. This idea is better for maintenance, maybe for all platforms, for maintenance, for testing, for any reasons of software engineering, one code base is better, from my opinion. This uh, bashing me for Flutter technology. What surprised you? If there's anything that surprised you when you started using Flutter, is there anything that was surprising in good or bad ways? Okay, maybe uh, the land is not, uh, or the map is not the actual land. For uh, Flutter, the, this idea, you can see the difference from version to, the, to other version. For example, uh, from Nairobi, latest uh, conference of Flutter, Flutter Forward. Flutter 3.7 is mo more than or change. There is many changes uh, from first edition or uh, last edition, three. There are many changes from code, from Dart programming language. Based, as you know, uh, Flutter based on Dart programming language is the software development kit, Flutter SDK. This uh, from edition to another edition, you see the difference. Maybe from first edition of Flutter, support uh, Android and iPhone. Second edition of Flutter, uh, you listen the sound null safety with the Flutter 2 and the uh, support of sound null safety. With the Flutter 3, maybe before Flutter 3, two point something like that. So Flutter support uh, Windows and web stable. From edition, as we I talked before, from edition to another edition, you see the difference with the Flutter. More coverage of platforms, more stability, stability, more performance, yes. So you've submitted a number of projects and blog posts to Dev Library, which got accepted. Two of your projects caught my attention. These are the games that you rebuilt in Flutter, and that's Tetris and Bomberman, because I'm the generation of Tetris and Bomberman. Do you want to talk more about the projects that you've submitted? You have more than this uh, on your dev library author, author profile. You also have a blog post, a, a three blog post, and you have a, a meta SEO package. Uh, do you want to talk more about these various projects and blog posts that you've written and submitted to dev library? You feel uh, in, uh, with the... Uh... You have two questions for games, Flutter games. There, are, there is a famous package. Uh, it's Flame now. Maybe I enhanced the package or the game itself. 
I developed uh, more than 40 games in my GitHub repos. Yes. I love uh, open source projects so other uh, developers can contribute with me, solve issues, many things in open source projects. Uh, you feel with games now, with 2D, Flutter support now 2D games. Uh, Bomberman is a famous game uh, with the, you have the bomb and you conclude this uh, bomb and uh, uh, deploy uh, blocks until uh, you finish the game you won. Yes, this is the idea of the Bomberman. I, I write it uh, with the Dart, Dart programming language with the technology of Flutter. We move to uh, MidTSEO. The MidTSEO package I write with the Dart programming language. I embed support of search engine optimization from web to projects of Flutter web. Flutter is support web app. There is difference between web app or website. Web app, for example, uh, progressive uh, web app, BWA, or SPA, single page application. All of this is uh, named web app. Website, another topic. Website, you deal with backend, for example. The same website, ha you have backend and front end. The same in the, the same uh, project. The code of backend and front end into the website. There are many topics over than web app. For example, SEO, uh, search engine optimization. I have this package, or I publish this package to enhance web app to support the browsers. For example, Chrome, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, uh, Safari, whatever. Uh, I study master in web sciences now. This topics from uh, my uh, my area. <laughs> uh, XML. You deal with the extent uh, extensible markup language for uh, support of browsers. The browser is read the tags of XML, for example, or HTML to support search engine optimization. You deal with meta tags. Meta tags is located in header of the HTML file. Meta tags, for example, meta title or OG open graph for supporting if you share, for example, link with image or title or description for in WhatsApp, for example, or Facebook, whatever, or Twitter. You have Twitter card. Many, many of uh, meta tags in this package. So with this package, you, you support the SEO, not all the SEO, because the body of the HTML, you need some SEO for, for example, H1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and the paragraph, whatever, of HTML. But uh, this package from header of HTML, you can, with this package, support SEO search engine optimization, maybe almost of meta tags in this package. What challenges, uh, sorry, let me rephrase. Did you face any challenges when you were coding and trying to develop this package or these games? And if you were encountering challenges, what was your approach to try and tackle that challenge? Did you use specific websites or methods to try and solve your challenges? Yes, this is a good question. The same as I talked before, uh, Robert, uh, for editions. <laughs> you run for editions. From day to day, Flutter is different. This is the, the idea. You need to be up, day, up to date with Flutter. So where, where do you go to? Do you read the official documentation? Flutter.dev is official, uh, the best. Maybe there are many documentation for Flutter or resources for learning, YouTube, whatever. The best in my idea is the, the, the official documentation from, from flutter.dev and I see the link in Google, Google Dev Library, Lightend, yes. This is the best uh, link, I, uh, I love it, yes. Another 
if you need uh, to uh, deep dive into Flutter SDK, api.flutter.dev. You will see all of the API information about Flutter SDK. I use it for uh, building the Meta SEO package, API of uh, Dart, uh, HTML, and Dart GS, JavaScript. Yes. It's very useful for uh, developing with the Flutter. I'll put all the links in the description of this video. I'll put also the link to your developer profile uh, on Dev Library so that people can be inspired from the work that you have been doing. Is there any piece of advice that you've heard around Flutter or around the tech industry that you think is the worst advice? That is the advice that you're hearing is it doesn't make sense. You know, that does not make sense to me. Is there anything like that that you've heard and you think this is silly? Also, there are many uh, advices we can talk about, but uh, one of them is uh, just code. From software engineering concept, there are many steps before code. You need maybe uh, collect or analyze the domain, collect the requirements of your app or game, for example. Uh, next uh, step, you need to design modeling for example, uh, Unified Modeling Language, UML, or any design, design of uh, system, design of app, design of game. The latest, or not the latest, before the latest is code. Begin coding. After code, test your code, and maintenance, return the cycle. Yes. The worst uh, advice is uh, just code. Start code uh, directly. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. That's quite refreshing because indeed sometimes people say just get started and start coding. So I think it's a refreshing to have another perspective, which makes also total sense. For someone who is starting with Flutter specifically, do you have any specific recommendations? Or let's say if you were starting today and you're realizing everything you've learned on the way, would you do anything differently? How would you get started today? What would be your advice for someone who's a complete beginner? Yeah, they know coding a little bit, maybe, but they don't know anything about Flutter. Where should they get started? Flutter.dev is the best way to get started or any other, anything? From the starter, is the advice is change it from the starter coder. Maybe for uh, encourage the starter, directly go to Flutter without Dart. I published many of Dart resources in my YouTube channel and uh, many uh, resources. For example, blogs or or YouTube uh, videos about uh, four hours or three hours about Dart programming language, about data structure and algorithms in Dart. The, if you need to start correct, and you have the time to build uh, strong knowledge, and uh, yes, but if you need to encourage with the technology directly with the Flutter. Build something with a Flutter, yes. Okay, so that's valuable advice. You're saying you know, Flutter.dev. And also, if you're interested with Flutter, don't waste too much time on Dart. It's not uh, useless, but it's maybe more preferable in hindsight for you to go straight to Flutter uh, in this case. I think that's very concrete advice that you're giving. Why do you think contributing to open source projects is important? Because you, you don't have to do this, right? You could totally just code and remain in your corner and you know, do your own stuff, but you're actually helping others. And why do you think this is important as part of the global developer community? What is your motivation? This is also a good question. For open source, maybe Google, uh, all services of Google is open source. Flutter, all of Flutter technology is open source. You can see all the documentation you can see all of the ABI SDK software development kit. All thing is open source. This access the developers to maybe contribute, maybe enhance the SDK itself. The same for my projects, apps or games I publish in stores. Developers contribution, maybe you, you have feedback, good feedback about something you not see or something you will not listen uh, or uh, see the description of your uh, bug or anything, the feedback is very useful from uh, white box or uh, black box testing. 
the open source is uh, with white box testing in my opinion is very useful i was i was curious if you're if you're excited about any technology that may arrive in the future or any improvement to flutter that you're interested in that you'd like to see happen there are many uh, to already integrated with the flutter for example tensorflow or uh, for machine learning tensorflow communicate with flutter technology with machine learning and coding there are many, uh, for example, uh, chat GPT without a uh, hint <laughs> about chat GPT. Uh, there are communica very uh, communication between uh, Flutter technology and others because it's a uh, cross platform. You deal with any platform, especially now uh, you deal with embed system, not operating system, embed system, e Linux, for example. Uh, have you tested already the integration with TensorFlow or are you tempted to try? Or are there areas that you want to try yourself? I heard from my colleagues, but the ideas of uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence is my field software engineer, as a software engineer. Any, any final few words you'd like to share with developers who are going to watch this video? Let's say it's not a question that is initially coming from me, but let's say you have a gigantic billboard that you can put anywhere on the planet. What would it say on that gigantic billboard that you can put on the highway anywhere on the planet? What would it say? Maybe no just code, direct just code, but think about the application or game before you could. Illustrate the shape of your application or game before directly could. That's my advice. Okay. Think about the business need, think about the application before you delve right into the code. This is something you shared earlier, which makes total sense. In fact, to your point, I think it's a rare skill also to have the ability to see both the product, the business case for it, and also be able to code. And I guess that's why in a lot of companies you have sometimes a product manager and then an engineering team. But if you can marry both skills, I think that's a, a unique advantage. So I like your approach of saying, you know, think where you're going instead of just coding straight away. Yes, thanks, Sebastian. Thank you very much for your time, Moaz. Uh, I think it was very enlightening and very refreshing also to get your perspective as a Flutter developer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shukran. Have one.